Next up in chemistry 2 is topic D, which is entitled Making Cars. Now, it is not nearly as terrifying as that title might lead you to think. Um, there's just a few key things in this. Uh, the first bit is really about rusting. So, they just want you to know what type of things rust. You need to know the word equation for rusting and what type of reaction rusting is. So, rusting is an example of an oxidation reaction. So we're adding oxygen to the substance. And iron is the substance we're talking about when we talk about rusting. So it's the iron that reacts with oxygen plus water, oops, Daisy, uh, oxygen plus water to make hydrated iron 3 oxide, or just hydrated iron oxide. So as we said, it's iron, oxygen, and water, but the rusting will happen faster if the water that the iron in is salty or if it's acidic. So acid rain can cause uh, iron objects to rust faster than they would otherwise. Aluminium is another material we just need to know a little bit about. And aluminium doesn't react in the air, so it doesn't do the equivalent of rusting because it forms a very thin layer around the outside of aluminium oxide. And then that doesn't let any aluminium beneath that layer react with the oxygen. So it just stays there as a nice layer on top that protects the rest of the aluminium. With the iron, once the top layer is reacted with the oxygen, it flakes off, which is why then the rest of it can start to rust. With aluminium, that just doesn't happen. We just get this nice protective layer around the outside and the most of the aluminium just stays perfectly as aluminium just with a nice protective layer of aluminium oxide around the outside. So, for this unit, we need to be able to talk about different materials and why they're used for cars and jobs of them. So, just being able to give some examples would do very nicely. So, for instance, nylon is used in the seat belts because it's strong and flexible. Glass is used in the windscreen because it's transparent. Copper is used in the wiring because it's a good electrical conductor. We use plastic for the trim because it's rigid, it keeps its shape and it doesn't corrode. Steel is used for the body because it's strong and malleable. And aluminium is often used to make the wheels because it's lightweight and doesn't corrode. Now, we can also use aluminium for the body. Now, for those of you doing the higher paper, you might need to be able to discuss the idea that if there is a lighter body, so aluminium is lighter than steel, if we use aluminium instead, the body of the car would be lighter, which would mean that the fuel economy would be better because we wouldn't need to use as much fuel to go as far. Okay, the last little bit is about uh, recycling old cars. So, advantages of recycling them, um, pretty much the same for recycling anything, is that we're going to use fewer of our finite resources, fewer of our resources that could run out. We don't need to do as much mining. Uh, we don't need to use much crude oil because we can uh, take the plastics that we've already got in old cars and use them in new ones. We send less waste to landfill and we end up with less toxic materials ending up in landfill. So inside car batteries there, are lead, uh, there is lead sorry, and lead is very, very damaging to the environment. Uh, so having it not go to landfill is a very, very good thing. Now the disadvantages of recycling, um, if we've got fewer mines operating then we've got fewer mining jobs so um, it could have an economic impact. It can be difficult to separate the cars into their different materials because obviously we can't just take a car and then turn it into a new car. We have to take out the steel, take out the plastics, take out the copper and separating these different materials can be difficult and difficult typically ends up meaning expensive. Now, some methods of separating the materials can produce pollution. So often people think that recycling is, you know, the green option. That's not always true. Sometimes it actually produces more pollution to recycle old cars or old materials than it does if you had just made new material from scratch. And as I mentioned earlier, recycling can be expensive, which is going to be could or could end up being prohibitive because if our cars just get more and more expensive because we're recycling them, then people won't want to recycle them. They would rather pay for something cheap and new. Okay, so that's it for this unit. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask me.